what's going on everybody it's um carlos from wicked comics and um got a pretty cool video for you today um we're doing a behind the scenes look of uh, of cronus the chamber of lost souls so you guys are going to be able to see all the um, all the voice talent that went into making the the motion comic uh, slash animation um but just to uh tell you guys a little bit about cronus um it's our it's our greek mythology comic um in the story um uh, zeus creates uh, a very powerful son uh, a titan named cronus um it's a time of chaos and um all the gods are creating different demigods so um He's got to go out and seek the heart of a, of a mortal goddess called Aurelia, but, um, and he's leading the, the god's army, he's a general in the god's army, but uh, something happens and he, he ends up in this place called the, the Chamber of Lost Souls, and then he's, uh, he's put on this quest to find uh, this very powerful horse, war horse called Arion. <laughs> you know, that's how pretty much how the story's kicking off, so... You know, every issue you're gonna see um, um, him going through different uh, struggles to to obtain this horse, and he's also gonna be working with the gods. Um, you know, uh, every issue he'll be getting a different power from a different god. So, say Zeus will give him the power of um, lightning bolts, and you know, and so forth. So it's um, it's gonna be uh, pretty uh, pretty excited about it, and. Um, I'm going to be doing the voice of uh, Cronus, but um, uh, here, check out the, the rest of the, all the cast that uh, did the rest of the voices, and uh, thank you for everybody that was involved in the project, and um, I'll see you guys when the, when the video, um, when I post a video. My name is Joseph Schweikler, and I play both the Centurion Soldier and Orgus in the motion comic Cronus. So I've actually known Carlos for uh, quite a few years now. Uh, we both talk, like to talk about like you know his comic book and like you know and I have a book series and stuff where you know I create my own characters and it's really fun to kind of you know uh, talk and such about uh, the things you know that we create. And so when the opportunity came up to be able to put my voice inside one of his comics, you know I jumped at the chance right away. And uh, luckily Carlos uh, said, "Yeah, absolutely. You know, here's the characters and." And just go to town with it. I actually did find the uh, voice work uh, just a little bit challenging and stuff like that just because you know uh, I look at these two larger than life characters and just kind of thinking like well I have a uh, sort of a sort of a like really high-pitched kind of voice uh, and such so you know the the approach was definitely a little tough but luckily through the power of you know audio editing and stuff like that you know i was able to kind of deepen the voice a little bit uh on top of me already uh doing a deeper voice you know so with the first character i'm just sitting there like you know talking into a microphone this is what I'm going to sound like. And then, you know, I throw uh, some effects on top of that. And I think it came out really well. And then uh, for the for the secondary character, you know, I was just kind of like, ooh, he's looking kind of, kind of, kind of like, you know, like a little snivelly sort of like, like he's almost conniving in a way. So I wanted to try to uh, bring that out a little bit. And so I kind of made this voice uh, like this. And I thought it came out pretty well. <laughs> I'll be honest, I had uh, loads of fun with it, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. So make sure to check out Cronus when it comes to print, and of course, don't forget to also watch the motion comic so you can hear my awesome voice. Hello everyone, I'm Evie. I play the voice of Aurelia. Basically, Medusa before she decides to Hulk. Um, I was asked to tell you guys a little bit about myself. I am fairly new to the entertainment world, so I've only done a few acting projects. This is my first voice acting project, and I'm very excited about it. Um, 
I was asked to show you my home studio. I don't have one. I am currently in the market for professional gear, but I don't have any yet. So my home studio is exactly what you are looking at right now. My phone is uh, quite a handy tool. Wonders of the modern world. If we didn't have phones, I wouldn't have a career. So, <laughs> you know, um, anyway, I am so grateful for your support on this project and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Hey, what's up everybody? It's your man Gary Scales and I have the opportunity to voice Dagramon in the series that's coming out. Um, a little about me, I was born and raised in Nashville, Tennessee. I still live there to this day. And I started voiceovers in about 2011 for different radio and TV commercials. And then I went to video games. Uh, one of the first video games that you can hear me in is Grand Theft Auto back in the day. And now recently you can hear me in Tom Clancy's Division 2, Dying Light 2, my time at Porsche on PS4 and Xbox One and Nintendo Switch and a whole bunch of other video games. Uh, also, I do commercials, not just character work, but I do commercials as well. I'm the voice of Old Charlie's, Village Inn, Baker Square, Acute Heating and Cooling, and uh, a bunch of other businesses in Nashville and around the world. Um, also, I'm the voice of the South for a Southern Soul Blues singer. So if you listen to any type of Southern Soul Blues music, you can hear me doing their DJ drops and their promos. So that right there gave me the title of Voice of the South or the voiceover king of Nashville. I didn't give them to myself. That's what people gave me. So, hey, I'm not arrogant. <laughs> and uh, this is my workspace. You can see a little bit. Uh, I'm in the booth. Uh, I can go with this camera stuff. I'm on the mic right there. You can see right now uh, I'm working on a Transformers project where I voice Ultra Magnus. Uh, right there. Let me know if you can see it. So, uh, there it is. I am the voice of Ultra Magnus. Hey, Mace Windu, Nick Fury. Oh, I do a whole bunch of other characters as well. But I just wanted to drop in, say hi, and I'm looking forward to the project that's coming out. I know it's going to be a lot of great talent, a lot of great voiceovers, music composers, and everything. So let's get it. Gary Scales, out. Hi everyone, I'm Michelle Lang and I am the voice of Medusa. Um, it was a role I really enjoyed playing. I just want to tell you a little bit about myself, but before I start that, um, I have a couple of notes, so just so you know if I'm looking around. I didn't want to forget anything. Um, I started out acting in the theater and in the past while I've been concentrating on voice acting and narration. Um, my recent projects have include animation, audio tours, audio drama, and uh, now with Wicked Comics, Motion Comics. Um, currently, I'm working on a project with IAC and their project, The Creation Trail, which provides, uh, I'm providing ongoing voice acting or voiceovers for this, um, various tourist attractions across America. And, and they include places like the Smithsonian National Museum, planetariums, aquariums, and um, just moving into national parks. So you can check that out. Um, I'm also a registered speech language pathologist, which I think helps out in this field and um, my website. So my website is still a, pro is a work in progress, but if you're looking for a female voice actress for your project, please check me out. Thanks. Hi guys, this is The Lunatic, AKA Ben Lopez, and welcome to my recording space. You know, I've been recording for about two years now, and I've gotten my feet wet in a lot of areas of the trade. I've done audiobook narration, animation, fan dubs, uh, voiceover for film, and uh, motion comic book productions. And it's all been done right here. 
You can catch me in some of my upcoming work, such as the Quality Quarantine podcast that I'll start recording in June, as well as the Strange Fantasy Productions podcast, which will be returning for its fifth season. Uh, you can catch me in the Colors on Sci-Fi motion comic dub uh, coming out soon with its fourth season. And of course, you can catch me playing Old Man Demon and Zeus in the upcoming Wicked Comics production of Cronus issue number one. Thanks for joining me in my booth. You can check me out in the social media links down below and have a great evening. Hey guys, my name is Chrissy Lee and I'm the voiceover artist for The Narrator. Um, I've been voice acting for just over a year now and I have been doing acting for probably close to four years now. Um, I have an advanced diploma in on-screen acting and stage performance and I really, I really, really love it. I really do. Um, I knew that this is something that I wanted to do since I was 12, uh, ever since I watched Dragon Ball Z and thought that is a cool job. That's a really cool job. So I started to look into it and when I was 24, that's when I was like, yep, this is what I'm going to do. See you, bye. <laughs> um, you know, and I thoroughly enjoy being able to create char characters and allow them to flow through and really bring them to life. And it is, it's such a great feeling. And I've been really fortunate in being able to do so many different projects and I'm really really grateful but thanks I really hope that you enjoy what we created here and I hope to see you in the future bye hello I'm Henry Packer I'm doing one of the voices for Minotaurus I'm delighted to be part of this I'm a New York-based actor. I've been an actor for quite some time now. And you can see some of my work on henrypacker.com. And I hope that my voice keeps you up at night. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ron Scarfone, and I'm going to do the voice of a centurion for the Cronus audiobook. I'm also going to be doing the voices of several characters for the Transformers audiobooks, uh, which are based on the comics published by IDW, and those will be shown on the Star Force Media YouTube channel, uh, although my parts haven't been uh, shown in videos yet, but they will in the future. And uh, I acted in the Clown Man movie, and I wrote uh, about boxing for various websites for about a decade, and I've collected comic books for about 35 years. And my goal, uh, since I was a teenager, is to be a comic book writer. I also like acting and voice acting, and I am also a former stand-up comedian, amateur though, and I uh, did celebrity impressions, uh, mostly. And I'll demonstrate one for you now, uh, Mike Tyson. Well, basically, I just want to say that I'm the greatest fighter of all time. I'm Mike Tyson. Bye. Hi, I'm Nicolas Gavilanes. I'm the voice of a soldier in a Swiss army. This is my first experience in the voice acting. Um, I like drawing. So there's a sketch of Spider-Man. If you like comics or drawing, please follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe on Wicked Comics. Hello everyone, my name is Michael Angelo, and for those of you who don't know who I am, I am the voice of the Minotaurus, or the Minotauro as I like to call him, in the Cronus Motion Comic Dub series. And I'm making this brief behind the scenes video to give you a brief insight into my career as a voice actor and how I came up with the uh, voice of the character as well. A little brief history about me is uh, I've been a voice actor for about two years now. Voice acting in a variety of different projects on YouTube, mainly all of them being on YouTube. So far, I starred in one um, indie game so far called Chronicon. 
is a ARPG game on Steam. And if you're really into those type of games, I would suggest that you would all go and check it out. It's a uh, pretty good and challenging game. But enough about me. I'm sure all of you are here because you want to figure out how I came up with the hypnotizing, memorizing, dramatic, extraordinary voice for the Minotaurus character. And I will explain it as so. So basically, upon looking at the character, I thought to myself, okay, so this character is obviously going to have a deep voice, but at the same time, he's a Minotaur. So we have to have a, not just a deep voice, but we also must have a monstrous voice as well. So, I took that in consideration, I was like, okay, hmm, maybe he would sound like, yes, I thought he maybe try to sound like this, with a lot of breath, and a lot of speed in my throat, I'm drooling, because it's really hard for it to do on my throat. So that's the first, not the first voice I thought he would have, but I really wasn't feeling it. So I decided to try more of a um, up pitch voice, a lot less breath, but maybe a lot more, you know, contract in the vocal cord a little bit more. If that makes any sense? I'm trying my best to explain it as best as I can, but you know, <laughs> I'm not really much of a um, speech coach or speech therapist, so I don't really know the proper terminology you would use to um, describe the um, action needed to um, make a uh, certain voice work. So, in my second attempt, I decided to raise the pitch a little bit more. You know, start off like this, and I will control you. You don't understand anything, and I'm a power of You know, like that. And that was the voice I decided to go with. Because, uh, you know, when you do a monster character voice, you want to do a voice that you can maintain, and at the same time, kind of sound, you know, reasonable. You know, because a lot of people, when they do monster voice, they actually like, contract your vocal cords and make the voice down deep and raspy as much as they can. But sometimes that works, but sometimes it doesn't work as well. So you basically gotta do what you see fit. Well, not basically what you see fit. Basically do what the um, casting director sees fit because, you know, they're the ones that determine what voice comes out of that character's mouth. So with that being said, I'm sorry for rambling on too long. Um, if you're wondering why I'm wearing a beanie inside of my house, it's because I'm about to go for a run, or a stroll. Don't worry, don't worry about me. I'm gonna abide by the rules of social distancing. Social distancing. <laughs> oh, I cannot talk right now. One take, that's all I'm about to do. I'm about to abide by the rules, and I'm gonna go out and relax, because I need to get out of this house. But don't worry, I'll be safe. I would like to thank you all for your time. Thank you for listening to my... <laughs> thank you for listening to the ramblings of a mad voice actor. Um, I hope that all of you support the series. Um, support all the voice actors a part of the series. And, you know, just um, do what you gotta do. Be safe during these hard times. I keep... <laughs> I keep freaking swallowing my voice. And I keep changing my voice pitch. <laughs> But that is how it is with a voice actor. So the video going on about five minutes now, so I really need to shut up. Okay, thank you for your time. Please support the series, and I'm out. Peace.